Hello, welcome to Packet Smart's Quick Reviews. In this session, we're going to show you how to set up a LAN assessment utilizing two P1, P1, PI100's micro appliances. We've actually located these two devices under a LAN testing SME device. Here are the two devices. One of the devices is actually at the furthest subnet on the LAN segment. The other one is on the uplink behind the firewall on the LAN side. Very simply, to run a LAN assessment, it's a, normally a very short duration test, no more than two hours, and you want to make sure that when you uh, engage this test, that you do it during the heaviest data that's being transported across the local area network at the given time. So when you introduce the UDP traffic, you will actually determine whether the routers and switches are prioritizing it correctly. So simply, let me take you through this step. Go ahead and click on the device that's going to be your call generator, and go ahead and slide over to VoIP network evaluation, at which point you want to go ahead and go through this five-step process. Simply select the target. The target will be the other micro appliance at the uplink portion of the local area network, which we've done here. Then we want to proceed down to the call parameters. Here we want to select the Kodak. In this example, we'll go ahead and select 711. And then we go ahead and uh, set, select the packet intervals. Most of the US is 20 milliseconds, but we do give you some option 10 and 60. If you choose that, we'll leave it for 20 for this particular assessment. And then, of course, we want to be able to set the number of concurrent calls that the local network needs to support from a VoIP perspective. In this case, we'll go ahead and say four. Be aware that you have the ability, depending on the product license type, to go from one to 15 to 25. If you're going to request a report, you need to keep it in the ramp selection. If you need to be doing some troubleshooting and looking at a flat rate uh, for bandwidth consumption, you can choose the flat, but if you do choose flat, you are not able to run a report request from that report tab. So please leave it on, on the ramp. When you run the um, four call ramp, please select a duration that is either 300 seconds, which is five minutes, or 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. For the demonstration, we'll select 60. We have four calls at a minute apiece. We need three test ramps for this demonstration, so I need at least 12 minutes. I'm going to select the time right now, but you do have the option of selecting the calendar and selecting a date in the future to run this test once the device is connected. As long as you have the green check mark here, the, the device is communicating with PacketSmart. So we'll go ahead and start this now, and I need to at least give it 12 minutes or military time here. So right now it's 3.31, which would be 15.31, and we need 12 minutes, so probably 15.45 should be adequate amount of time. We want to provide a good description here, so we would say for call ramp assessment for LAN segment, and there you go. Then you want to proceed down to step three where we're going ahead and tag the actual uh, packets here. We can do it without QoS. We can go ahead and pick toss. We allow you to set different precedents here. You can basically select five, six, seven, any selection you want. We default to five, which is the industry standard. In this actual test, we're going to use diff serve, and we're going to go ahead and use the highest weighting there, which is the express forwarding class. Once you've done these three steps, you then can proceed to go ahead and schedule the test. Hit the start button. You'll get a confirmation of the parameters of what you've set up, if this all looks correct, and there's an appropriate amount of time to run the test. Go ahead and hit confirm, and then please take the extra second and go ahead and hit the trace route. This will enable us to run uh, RTT or latency through the routers in the path. Once you've completed this, I want you to proceed up to the control panel to make sure that these commands are being executed by the devices. Remember, the devices are remote, and we are engaging them remotely. So here we have dispatched the start call and start trace route to the devices, and as we click on the get command history, It'll take 15 to 25 seconds for this command to actually change. There we go. It's actually being received on the uh, commands to that actual device. And then we want to make sure that they're actually executed. There you go. They're executed. At this point, you can click on the start call, proceed down to the call parameters, which is the basically history of what we've set up, and look at the actual start time of when this is going to actually occur. This is important to note because this is the calls you're going to look at to verify that you have good RTP stream running between the two micro appliances. So once you've confirmed to 1532, you can proceed up to the call matrix. Go ahead and hit show calls. And we're looking for anything that's 1532 or later, and this is our first call right here. Once we click on this call, we want to proceed down to the call stream matrix to verify that we are generating an RTP media stream. Go ahead and call stream matrix, and then go to the packets per second click on that and then go ahead and draw the chart. 
scroll down so you can see this and there you go there's your RTP media stream 50 packets per second if you like you can go ahead and look at the other device and see that it's getting a stream also remember the time that we mentioned there's the 1532 go ahead and call call stream matrix click on the packets per second hit the draw chart and we should see a stream here too which we do at this point we've got a good indication that we have a, an RTP test stream going between two devices on a local area network and now we can go ahead and stage the report for that LAN assessment easily done by going to the report tab sliding down to where it says submit new request go ahead and select the actual device we're going to run the test on this is where we started the generation of the test we want to select a premium on this and we'll go ahead and select premium do the start called commands and this is the actual one we're interested in this is the one we just started 1532 click on that proceed with we're uh, looking at a local area network um, test and this is at uh, let's just say it's at the corporate office and what we want to do is provide the call capacity of at least four concurrent calls on the network more importantly we're asking for a MOS score of 3.8 on that specific Kodak you have the options here of selecting a higher which we'll go ahead and do we'll hit 4 and you also at this level we want to basically decide what is the percentage of acceptable calls that meet that MOS score and right now it's at 95 percent I'd like to increase that that should be upwards around 97 percent uh, on the local array network we will default to the the Pacific time zone which we did on the initial test and then more importantly you'll actually have the ability if you need to change the hourly uh, segmentation of those reports but for this demonstration leave it on 8 and then you have the ability to uh, also look at segments of time within the slice if you were running a 24 hour these are only, val only valid when you're running a 24 hour uh, test so if you just wanted to look at 20, uh, one particular time between 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock, that's how you'd set up the options. Uh, for this demonstration, we go ahead and we leave it on the full 24 hours. We do know that it's a four-call ramp assessment for the LAN segment at corporate office. And you want to provide lots of information here for the report. And then all you have to do now is go ahead and put in your email address where you would like to have the report emailed to you through a link. Submit this and can check the confirmation of the information you have here. Go ahead and hit confirm. At which point, once you hit confirm, you'll actually go back up to the check report status. Click on show report. And there you'll see that the report has um, been dispatched. Go ahead and click on that for a moment and will actually tell you what you've set up and the parameters in here and this is important uh, so you can know how this actual test has been set up more importantly you'll notice that the report URL is blank this report will go from dispatched to in progress from in progress to URL ready once it populates a URL ready you will be able to see the actual hypertext here you can click on this if you wish not to wait for the email to be sent to you with a link and you're able to use the same credentials to retrieve the report and in this example after the URL is done it'll go to completed if you see completed in this state that means we've sent you an email as long as the email address is correct and the link will be provided there and you'll use the same credentials that you use to sign into the packet smart GUI and that's how you run a local area network assessment between two micro appliances and how you generate a request for a report thank you for your time